Good. Uh, please help us understand what diabetes is and what are some of main causes. Okay, thank you. Uh, diabetes uh, is a chronic and a progressive uh, disease characterized with uh, elevated levels of blood glucose. Uh, diabetes occurs either when pancreas does not produce enough insulin. Uh, this is the hormone which regulates blood glucose in the body. Uh, and this type of diabetes is referred to as type 1 diabetes or insulin-dependent uh, child onset diabetes. Or it, uh, it may occur when the body cannot effectively use the insulin it, it produces. Uh, for example, this is referred as a type 2 diabetes or it's also often called uh, non-insulin-dependent uh, diabetes. We, we also have another type of diabetes which, which is called di uh, gestation diabetes, uh, which is a temporary condition uh, occurs in pregnancy and carries a long-term risk for type 2 diabetes. Uh, women in, with gestational diabetes are at increased risk of some complication during pregnancy and delivery uh, as, uh, as far as also their infants. Uh, people with diabetes may uh, have symptoms like excessive urination, polyuria, uh, or excessive thirst, uh, which is also called polydipsia, uh, constant hunger, polyphagia, weight loss, uh, vision changes, headache, and fatigue. But uh, they are risky for type 2 diabetes, although type 1 diabetes is uh, often un uh, unknown or, uh, as far as its cause is concerned. But for type 2 diabetes, uh, there is interplay be between genetic and metabolic risk factors like ethnicity, family history uh, of diabetes, previous decision diabetes, combined with older age, uh, overweight, obesity, unhealthy diet, uh, physical inactivity and smoking, uh, which increase the risk for this type 2 diabetes. But overweight and obesity really are the strongest risk factors for type 2 diabetes. Uh, what is contributing the high rates of type 2 diabetes in Africa? Uh, currently, as we have seen, urbanization uh, 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 increasing in, in, in low and middle income countries. So, uh, lifestyle change uh, in in African continent, but also in other lower and middle income countries, contribute to increasing uh, risk or increasing uh, prevalence and incidence of diabetes. Uh, we've seen also there is a uh, uh, low diagnosis of, di of diabetes in these countries. Uh, for example, according to the World Health Organization, uh, only 45%, uh, 46% of people living in Africa with diabetes uh, do not know their status and uh, because of lack of testing facilities and equipment but also inadequate a number of trained uh, personnel to uh, diagnose diabetes. Uh, the, really the problem is all the figures are uh, increasing and it's expected to rise up to uh, 55 million by 2055. So this is really a high time to deal with diabetes in Africa but also to know how to prevent it. And what can be done to prevent type 2 diabetes, especially in African context? Uh, there are a lot of uh, interventions uh, based on how we can prevent it, but also how we can control it. But the World Health, Health Organization really has come out and provided uh, some of the interventions which are very uh, cost effective uh, uh, in a common name called Best Buys which are recommended interventions for prevention and controlling of non communicable diseases, but also including diabetes. Uh, the aim is not only controlling diabetes type 2, but controlling the risk factors which uh, create uh, room for all non communicable diseases, including hypertension, cancers, and other diseases. So the aim is to strengthen the national capacity for the country, but also leadership, uh, governance, multisectoral action, and partnership to, us, uh, to accelerate the country response to the to prevent and control uh, controlling of non communicable diseases including diabetes so uh, interventions like redu reduction of tobacco use uh, reduction of harmful use of uh, alcohol unhealthy diet physical inactivity and effective management of diabetes and its complications which are uh, uh, create a room for uh, uh, these interventions 